Euclid's postulates. The geometry book called The Elements, and which is credited to Euclid, who was born, who lived around 300 BC, although there were probably, there probably was a geometry book called The Elements before his time. Anyway, the, the, the oldest copy that, that, that we've ever found is, has his name on the cover, so we give him the credit. Anyway, his geometry book begins with five postulates, because it's some definitions and five postulates. Postulate one, any two points can be connected by a unique straight line. If you've got points A and B, you can connect them with a, with a line, and there's only one line directly in between. There isn't another way of getting from A to B that's a straight line. Postulate two, any straight line can be extended into a longer straight line. So if you have a line AB, you can extend it to some point C, and if you need it to be even longer, you can extend it again. Now note, nowhere in the elements were there infinitely long lines. The sort, that, the sort that fill high school geometry classes. One of the very first things that they'll do in a geometry class in high school is they show you this line with arrows on either end and they say, this is an infinitely long line, it goes forever in both directions. The ancient Greek philosophers would have mocked anyone who used or talked about things that they could not draw. What, this line goes on forever? Show me. Oh, you don't know what for it? Where is forever? What do you know about forever? Show me. No, no, no. They, they would have ridiculed that. So it, it's really sad that something that is really hard to grasp, like an infinitely large object, is expected of high school students to just understand. Just suck it up. I mean, here's, an, here's a ridiculous impossible object that no one's ever seen and no one's ever created. You have to believe it or I'm going to mark you wrong on the, the MCAS. It's ridiculous. Anyway, so this is what their this was their solution instead. They used always used finite lines that could be made longer and longer and longer as necessary. So, I call these two postulates ruler postulates because they can expl be explained with a very long ruler. You give me two points, you put the ruler across it, you draw the line between the two points. You give me a straight line, you kind of line the ruler up with it, and you can kind of extend the line out with a straight line. I mean, there's always some sort of fudging involved, but, uh, you know, give or, you know, it's, it's the, you can be fairly careful. You can't be perfect, but whatever. Anyway, postulate three. We can draw a circle with any center and radius. I call this a compass postulate because it can be explained with a very large compass a good compass, one that doesn't slip or suck like most compasses. Yeah, not a, 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 a north, south, east, west compass, but one of these things where you put this sharp point at the center that you want and if you figure out what the radius is, you can draw around a circle. Uh, the, the ones that they get in kits are awful and they slip and you can't even draw a decent circle and it's, you know, this little hinge wears out. But anyway, if you had a good compass and, you know, Postulate 3 says any center radius and any radius. So, I mean, if it wanted to be one mile, we say, well, you could make one that was one mile. Well, good luck finding a compass that's that big. But anyway, postulate 4, all right angles have the same measure. Okay, I call, uh, Euclid defines a right angle to be what you get when a straight line is divided into two angles that are congruent. If right angles in one place were different than right angles in another place, then there would be no way to measure angles. For this reason, I call it the protractor postulate. Remember, protractors, you, you, one day getting ready for school, someone bought you a kit that had a ruler and one of these things in it and a couple triangles, and you've probably only used it to trace circles, and then you realize it doesn't even make a good circle because there's this little bit at the bottom that isn't really circular. But anyway, you can measure angles with one of these things. Now, generally speaking, these postulates were all considered common sense and widely accepted by the ancient Greeks. Nobody had a problem with believing that you ha could have rulers to connect lines or extend lines. No one had a problem talking about compasses. And when anyone said, that, you know, what is a right angle? A right angle is when you take a line and you subdivide it so that this line and this line are equal. That if you did that over there and you did that over here, that these angles, that this angle would be the same as this angle. Nobody has a problem with that. But the fifth postulate comes in the next video.